The remembrance is no different than the sea. Never gaze upon its surface on a starless night. That's Black Swan talking, I believe. Waiting for someone? Yep, that's Black Swan. <laughs> Then, how about a dance? Yes, please. <laughs> My gaze has lingered on her for quite a while. And tonight, I initiate her first engagement. A galaxy ranger, as mysterious Ma'am? the rumors suggest. <laughs> A blend of nobility <laughs> and reticence. Yet, in this nocturnal hunt, the ranger is not the only one who hunts. At this distance, you're more enchanting than you seem. The animation's so pretty. Without a doubt, she seeks the Watchmaker's legacy. In this game, <laughs> Everyone lies, but memories do not. <laughs> Just keeps on getting better, doesn't it? No, shoot. Everyone has a past, and the past shapes the present. Some people hold Super. on to memories. <laughs> While others are haunted by them. So they both are going on a team. Escape. <laughs> that is why I took action. I want to know what is she that is. <laughs> Many were drawn to this feast. The IPC, the Garden of Recollection. Fools. The Nameless, and the Annihilation Gang. Who are apparently dead. They should have been present. Or gone. But Duke Inferno is dead. Oh, she's he interrogating and his her. children won't be attending. What have you done, beautiful ranger? Oh. Oh. Excuse me. Hey yo! No, we, oh jeez! Did she just kill Black Swan? <laughs> She's ripping her apart. It's animation. <laughs> when black, even Black Swan Who is scared. The Annihilation Gang. My gaze has lingered on her for quite a while, and tonight is our final engagement. <laughs> She's like, I'm good. I'm. That's it. One Galaxy and done. Galaxy Ranger. No, I've made a grave mistake. Everyone has a past, but for some, their past is a silent abyss filled with those who drowned in it. Oh my god, the bodies. Annihilation Gang. Annihilation Gang. <laughs> Maybe I do need Akron. Yes, Timora. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh. Those guys. Oh, now she remembers? What 
the fuck? <laughs> I'm very normal. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Super normal. Nothing to see here, guys. I want to see that like crazy part again. Hold on. Well, we know 100% for sure that the Duke is dead now. They literally showed it to us. No gay, I'm sad. No, just ripping poor black swan apart. Jesus. <laughs> like, literally, she gets shredded. Excuse me. Are you asking me? So, like, with... We could talk about stuff that's happened in the story recently. Right. It's more of just like what happened with Akron during one scene. The fight between Sam and Akron in the little yeah. scene was was Akron holding back against Sam? Pretty sure. Yeah. Because otherwise, I mean, if this version of her came out, he'd be gone. He'd be dead. Yeah. But it's like, <laughs> how strong is she? <laughs> so strong enough that she's scaring Black Swan, which is a feat in itself from what we know about her. And it's also like, obviously she's not physically being hurt. It's literally like, she's mentally being ripped to shreds. It's just like, oh. <laughs> uh, what Emanator did Adventuring say that she was? Um, She was is, the... whatever Because I know, I know she's Nihility, but is, she is that Nihilist? what he said that, that, is that what he said that she Let's was? Uh, I don't remember what he said. Or, or did he not say? She's yeah, she's the harbinger of death and finality, says. it says. Uh, he suspe okay. Oh, he suspects finality or destruction. Okay, yeah. I wonder if she has a direct connection to Honkai Impact, like Welt does. Maybe. I mean, people were Which... saying that her the second form looks like the Hersher, so... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, finality is what they're calling it. At least that's what Adventuring called it. It's just this part where like things swap, and it's suddenly... Black Swan's not leading the dance anymore, because... Oh boy. And she's literally like, oh god, her eyes. <laughs> she's literally like ripping feathers out of Black Swan. Which Black Swan technically doesn't have feathers, so it's like mostly a metaphor. So Black, but Black Swan and the garden, right? Are like all about memories or like yes. not lying. Yeah, they they are unable to lie, is their whole thing. Is she is Black Swan seeing some type of memory from Acheron? In this, is that why she's seen Akron just like rip her apart? Because of like people that she, like Akron has fought in the past, maybe she has done that too. Well, I think Black Swan's also able to like see people, like people's true, like she's able to see in people and like see their true selves and stuff. Damn. And that's when she gets more than what she bargained for. <laughs> she's plucking her like a chicken. Oh. Two point one talks about Welt and Akron are connected. Oh, so we may see Welt step in. I hope so. I need more Welt stuff. He's yeah. a cool character. <laughs> Please. I also want to hear um, more about like the his like connections to stuff. Like he's obviously connected to a lot of stuff, and we just haven't heard about it yet. Yeah, because he freaks out when he sees Luocha, because Luocha yeah. is the reflection of Auto Apocalypse, who's the main antagonist. Mm -hmm. Of Honkai Impact. I think if Acheron is an emanator of nihility, of the finality, that's why she's actually hurting Black Swan. And that's also probably why she has memory issues. It's because, like, nihilism is, is nothing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's probably so much psychic damage. Oh, yeah. Especially this one scene. We'll see it again in a second where she's just walking and there's just bodies falling from the sky. Yeah. So who knows how many people she's murdered. She's also trying to go for the watchmaker's legacy. Yeah. Is she trying to go after the legacy itself or people going after the legacy? I think she could be going after the watchmaker itself to literally rip the play. Like she wants to end Penacone, like and just make it nothing in the... I think that's what she's probably after, but she just... The Acheron we know doesn't know that, because brain does not go burr. There's nothing in there. It's empty. <laughs> and apparently she has met the Trailblazer before, because at the very start of the new update, when you're, like, first arriving, you get in the memory with her. Right. Yeah, and there's even a part where you can be like, uh, I think I picked it, too. You're like, you look... You, as the trailers, can say that she looks familiar, or like, have we met before, before or something. Also, this imagery in the background of like this bird getting absolutely like this goose in this part getting just absolutely destroyed by various other predators. Like this one's the snake just ripping a bird apart. Uh, I think the snake is. Oh yeah, that is a swan, not a goose. <laughs> Just... 
And then it's, you know, just bones and plucked and horrifying. And then we get to see other predators, like an antelope and a cheetah. A rabbit and a bear. Wolves and an ox, looks like. Shark and fish. Oh, and wait, that was literally Nihili, wasn't it? Yeah, right there. That look yeah, the black hole. <laughs> and then we snap back to reality and she's like, oh god. <laughs> Why trap by a spider? Oh, okay. Who are the Annihilation Gang? Oh, Acheron. <laughs> Yeah. The, the, the description of the video is a bunch of lore. Oh? Quite a while. Yeah. And tonight is our oh, final. Here's where the bodies engagement. fall from the freaking sky. A galaxy ranger. No. I've made a grave mistake. I also want to know why like does she actually believe she's a galaxy Everyone ranger or does she is she aware that she But for some Like is she just saying that to lie? Or does she actually think she's one? Filled with those yep, there's the bodies. Drowned in it. Let's look at the... Oh, jeez. Oh, God! <laughs> uh, the dual planets were intertwined with each other's tragic destiny, dancing in an eternal rondo around a pitch-black great sun. In the beginning, one of the planets gave rise to humans. These people looked down and named the land Izumo. These people looked up and named the world above Taka... Oh, just that. I'm not... Yep. <laughs> Oh. Taka Maga Sorry. Oh, Taka Magahara. That's what the name is. Uh, one day uninscribed in the annals, the Yaoyorzuri no Kami descended from Taka Maga These are a lot of long names. Taka Magahara. These demonic beasts named Kami overturned the skies, burned the rivers and the oceans, and shattered the land. People realized in horror it was not an invasion for rulership, dominance, or plunder. The evil Kami only came to kill. Uh, as the planet stood on the brink of death, Izumo embarked on a kami slaving journey, exhausting the might of the entire country to slay the calamity Sovereign of Revelation, and forging the very uh, first Edict Edge using its bestial body. So that part is interesting because Welt is the Sovereign of Revelation. Um, Oh. That's one of his titles. Giving the Kami a taste of their own medicine, the wielder of these swords can recite the mantra contained within the blade to master the divine power of Taka Magahara and use the combat to oh use it to combat the evil Kami and save the masses, which sounds a lot like a certain so booba sword that uh Raiden has, because her whole thing was also slaying the Kami. From then on, Izumo started its long and arduous crusade, engaging inordinate lives lost for the fall of one Kami after another shattering countless mortal blades to forge the Twelve Sentinels. In its merciless fight for survival, Izumo used its might of the Edict Edges to light up their uncivilized world of darkness in less than ten ember eras, building cities of dazzling neon lights. That distant Takama divine realm, once so far away, became close within their reach. Uh, yet history suddenly stopped there. The existence of the two planets uh, instantly evaporated, disappearing into nothingness. Nowadays, the past of the border planet Izumo can only be gleaned from the scattered whispers in the universe. Academics hold various views regarding its disappearance, but none can solve its mystery. Zuma's history should have oh should have been a long flowing river, but it was severed in one cut, and all past and future voided on emptiness other uh, emptiness's other shore. Lots of void references. Okay. Uh, did it never exist? Was it no more than a fabricated story? The histories never occur, and it ran aground on the beach of reverse causation. Was it yet another appalling experiment by Doctor Primitive? Doctor. Primitive. Or was it a sign of the veracity returning from the end of the cosmos? Only the pitch black great sun uh, knows the answer, and yet they remain silent, never speaking. Is that Nihili? Dr. Primitive is one of the Genius Society members. Ooh, okay. It's believed that he's not a person. He's like a, some, from what I can tell, he's like an eldritch horror. Oh. <laughs> Um, and he just goes around the universe causing disaster and playing games for his weird little experiments. Because everything that has happened uh, will one day regress to the end and everything that has ended is guaranteed to happen again. The universe undergoes an eternal reoccurrence under their shadow, in caps, their shadow, and Azuma is nothing more than a footnote for an ellipse. Of note, the Galaxy Ranger's sole purpose is to hunt down Dr. Primitive. Ooh. So that could be, maybe she's trying to find him. <laughs> maybe, maybe he did fuck up their world and... Maybe she's like the last 
survivor or something like that. Yeah. I feel like it's like the reverse of what happened to Raiden Shogun. Or yeah. Makoto. Because, yeah, I mean, the themes are the same of between like Inazuma and this Izumo place. So it could be that she's like the last survivor of that planet. And now she's trying to find Dr. Primitive and in the process has become a crazy murder person. <laughs> Only the pitch black great sun knows the answer, and yet they remain silent, never speaking. Which does sound like, that does sound like Nine. So if the whole sole purpose of the rangers is to hunt down this person, is Akron at Akoni because she's trying to find that person? I think, and I think, yeah. maybe they're going after their, their legacy? Maybe he is the watchmaker. Or maybe she at least thinks he's oh. the watchmaker. Or that whatever his device is will lead her to him. So does I mean, explain why she would go, like, she would take out the Annihilation game? She doesn't take out anyone else that we know of yet. Well, it could be that she's just going out and murdering every powerful person she can find, being like, oh, clearly you are Dr. Primitive. <laughs> oh, God. Murder. <laughs> Though, I mean, with what we know about the Watchmaker, I would not be surprised if she thinks that it's like the whole of Pentaconi is just another sick experiment by him. 